Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to another tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to create an Instagram filter, uh, like uh, those filters that you can find on your Instagram stories and etc. So let's open our Instagram and let's search for a story for example and let's see if, if anyone has a filter in his story. I don't think this one has. So let's keep swapping and let's find something with a filter. So, uh, basically, I think it has. Oh, okay, this one has a filter on it. So this is the filter that has been used in this um, story. So basically, how you can make uh, filters like those filters that they are on Instagram. Basically, you can't really do that on your cell phone. So you have to swap to your computer device. So let's swap to our computer device, and I will be back to you guys so let's swap to it just like so so now what i'm going to do guys is basically go ahead and download uh, google chrome or anything just open any browser on your pc and from it what you're gonna do is go to here and what write spark ar so here guys there is multiple uh, options of website that you could use there is this spark uh, snap ar and meta spark studio so you can use any one of these but for us in on instagram you will use this one so here what you're gonna do is click on get started and basically uh, if you are good enough with the 3d animations with the photoshopping stuff and etc you can use this uh, this method to do like cool snaps school instagram uh, filters and etc as you can see here this is an example uh that's another example of how the, of how the program will look like inside uh, it is pretty pretty easy to use it so don't be uh don't be feared about using it so just install it from here get started log into your facebook account and make sure to connect it later on to your instagram account and right after you finish your project export it go to filters on your instagram and then import it to that so that's how you can actually make or create an instagram filter guys so thank you a lot for watching and see you in the next tutorial Bye bye